Hey guys, Jobus34 back again just for a quick look at this. And I'm, I'm really doing this, you know, it is sort of 1-6 related, but it's not a figure. It's more of a statue. And I really do like the company. Uh, it's called Infinite Statue is the name of the company. And they do excellent work with what they do. And sometimes they do things that are not slightly exactly 1-6 scale, even though they'll say 1-6. You know, if I had to put a guess on it, I would say... You know, it could it could in some way be more in the maybe the one one eighth one seventh category. You know, if you really if you really did some measurement, but it's close enough that you know it still can kind of blend in, especially with the bases and the stuff that they usually do their their statues on. They do excellent work, and this is no exception. I had to get this one, and I got to be honest, with you, I'm really stunned and 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 pleasantly surprised by the detail. But you know in the skin tones and the face and everything else on, on this statue because a lot of times with statue, although they can get objects and they can get, you know, th certain items, the gloves, even the jacket looks real if you don't touch it. You know, if you look at it from a distance, it looks like a real trench coat, right? Um, but often sometimes with statues, they, they don't like nail the face or flesh tones. But this, this company does a really excellent job. I have another statue of them, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, where, um, you know, they show with paint cans and stuff on a base. It's really nice, and it's kind of like in a black and white type type schema, and it's really beautiful. I never really did a review of it. I think I may have showed a picture of it or something on Facebook or something a long time ago, but I never actually reviewed it. And I might do a video on it at some point just to show it, because it's really excellent work. But again, they're statues. You know, they say 1-6, but again, they may be slightly off. But I never really saw a, a, a figure this good representing this character. I mean, this is obviously Peter Sellers. This is uh, from the Pink Panther movies from years ago, Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> uh, it is a boom. It's a boom. <laughs> and he's holding the infamous boom and his uh, magnifying glass. And I used to love this character in the movies when I was a kid. I used to like the Pink Panther cartoons. To this day, I still think it's a little... You know, it's a little bit of a stretch how they kind of brought the Pink Panther into this franchise. Basically, it started out as like a simple cartoon of a cartoon looking character of him basically chasing after the Pink Panther. And there were little shorts, I think. And then in the original movie, which wasn't even called Pink Panther, I don't remember at this time what it was called, but it, it was something, it had a different title. But basically, the pink diamond that, that he was trying to investigate the villain, I guess, trying to steal. I think was referred to as like the Pink Panther. If I'm if I'm remembering this right, this is, these these movies are old. We're going back to like the 60s and then mainly the 70s. And then they had Revenge of the Pink Panther, The Pink Panther Strikes Again, and then there was one called Shot in the Dark, which didn't have Pink Panther once again in the, in the title, but it was based on still another Inspector Clouseau movie. And they would always start off with these cartoons of showing the Pink Panther running around him chasing him just like that. I guess they originally had it like whether it was comic strips or or like I said little cartoon shorts. And it was just a great time. I loved Kato, his bodyguard, you know, that was obviously a takeoff on, like, Bruce Lee, but, like, it was his bodyguard that would always be looking to fight him when he would come into his apartment to train, and they'd have, like, these epic battles only to be, like, fine with each other. <laughs> and the other the other relevance to this, why I had to have this, is because uh, my father passed away last year, and I'm not trying to, you know, bring this video down or anything, but me and him used to really love watching these movies together. When I was a kid, he used to take me to the movies with him to see some of these. And then some we used to watch at home. And we just, I always laughed so hard with these movies. And I laughed with him. And he loved them. So I wanted to get this kind of to honor him and, and his, his memory. Because when I look at him, it reminds me of him. And our days, you know, as a child, going to the movies with him. Him taking us, even my mother too. We all used to go to see these movies. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just a, a memento for me, a nostalgia, you know. And my grandfather, my father's father, oddly enough, always reminded us of Peter Sellers. He kind of looked like him. So in some ways, I feel like I'm honoring my grandfather, too, because it kind of resembles him in a weird way. Uh, he kind of had that look that you're looking at right now. So anyway, getting into the statue specifically, like I said, the, the outfit, you know, like I said, it's all one-piece statue. And, you know, it comes with a, a hook, you know, like a... A spike that you know you put it on the base so the, it, this foot anchors into the base so it could stand really nice um the magnifying glass is something that comes separate that you put in his hand and then you put the the hand with the bomb in into the hand you secure it and yeah, i i love how how many people are using the cotton trick now 
I remember doing that for my Die Hard figure back in the day on Bruce Willis that I did, uh, John McClane, with the, the smoke coming off the cigarette. And now, you know, we see a lot of people doing that. Uh, and now even commercially, they're, they're using the cotton ball trick uh, for, to make, like, fire or smoke or what have you. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect, and it works really good, especially from a distance. It does look like the, the boom is ignited and ready to explode. <laughs> So, and here's the uh, certificate of authenticity that comes with it. So it comes with a nice certificate of authenticity and it's double-sided. So it says the same thing on both sides, you know, and here's the box it came in, which was a nice box. And they actually ironically call it Peter Sellers. They don't call it, um, you know, Inspector Clouseau. Uh, they do say Peter Sellers. So it is kind of really, you know, to honor not just the character, but the, the actor too, I would, I would imagine. And he really looks as good as he does on the box. It's amazing. See, infinite statue, infinite statue. So pretty cool. I'll show you something else here. So on the bottom, they show this is a limited run. And as you can see right there, limited edition, this is the number. So I have 68 of 400. So pretty cool. So it's uh it's really, and this is, I guess, their Old and Rare series, as you can see, a limited historic edition. So they make a lot of cool stuff from that era. You know, you know, they make things that, like, I guess most people wouldn't think about these days, you know. Old school. And the box is really nice. And it's just a nice, it's a, it's a nice thing. I love the carpet. I love how they make it raise up so it looks like it's wrinkled, you know, like with him stepping on it. And the detail is just phenomenal. And like I said, the face is, is painted really well. For a statue, I'm amazed because... I have other various statues here and there, like Tweeter Head, and I have, like I said, I have another one from this company, the Laurel and Hardy. And I have to say, as far as a statue goes, you know, not taking away anything from the other companies, but this company really, really, really stands out to me as far as capturing that true one six scale paintwork, you know, that you would see in a figure or a head sculpt done by like a great custom artist or something. The paintwork is really, really good. It's well done. It doesn't look as statues, you know, as some other companies make. Sometimes the statues where they, fought, where they, uh, I should say, the skin tones and the face and, and any flesh part that's showing is kind of like usually sometimes where the statue fails and kind of comes off looking a lot like a statue. But the weathering, I mean, the hat, the jacket, the face, you know, his mustache, you know, his, his uh, five o'clock shadow, it's all there. And it's really well done. So I'm very impressed. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick video on this. I don't want to go on and on and on and on, but... If you're an old time, you know, if you're an old timer like me, um, and you like nostalgic movies or, or comedies from that era, if you liked Peter Sellers' work and you liked the Pink Panther movies and Inspector Clouseau, this is a must-have. And he's still available right now. He's still in stock right now. But I would imagine that once this sells out, this will go up in value, and I would imagine it'll be a little harder to get. So, if you're into this character, or if you just appreciate the the statue because it's well done. Go grab it now. I got mine from Sideshow uh, Collectibles. They do have it on that site. And then I think they have, you know, there's other various vendors that have it if you do a search. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace out. Jobus34. Till next time.